Hey gang, it's Takara. Um, I was asked to speak about um, people who get saved and I'm um, thinking that they're talking about saving Christianity, feeling like once they're saved that their lives are problem free. Um, my opinion and thoughts on that is, is particularly this. When you're on a path to do something different with your life, which is basically something new to you that you've never ever experienced before. Um, you're changing yourself from always doing things um, that you would normally do. You're going about it a different way now. So you're outside of your comfort zone. And anytime you get out of your comfort zone and there's new things coming to you, you're not going to do the same things that you've done before. So you know that you have to get ready for different obstacles that's going to come in your way, new obstacles that's going to come in your way. And you got to understand something. People have a hard time of letting go of the old you and gravitating to the new you. So if you're the person who wants to transition from going from be, not being saved to being saved, you must understand something. Your problems if you want to say, because I don't want to say their problems, I want to say your obstacles have just began. You have to get a mental conscious notion in your mind to understand that you're on a different path in your life. And everybody that you've came in contact with and known you since the beginning of time or since you were born, they have a certain perception of you and they have a perspective of you. So now, um, you're going into branching out into a new life and you're taking on new things. They don't know this new person that you are. So understand this and they should as well. Give each other time to adjust to the newness of what is about to happen. So no, don't think just because you're saying that you're giving your life over to God, that you are good, you're protected and nothing's going to come at you to throw you off your path or you know, you can just live this life scot-free. That's not how this works. You know, that's not how this works. Um, You're going to always be forced to have obstacles in the way. And it's all about how you're maneuvering through them. Because remember, if you're saying that you're giving your life to God and you're going to be faithful and steadfast in what you believe in, um, you best believe that the tests are coming. Um, Everything is going to be put into you to test that faith that you say you have. Because you said you had it, so now... We got to test it to see if you're going to stand true in what you said. Um, and not just at the time that you said, because remember, when people say things um, and when people invoke their self in new things, there's a feeling. There's an emotion that's attached with it and they ride that emotion. See, and at, at some point, the emotion is not as new and it wears down and it's not as exciting as it was. Do you stay attached to the initial emotion that you felt throughout? It's like a marriage. You know, um, for the most part, the wedding day is supposed to be the happiest day of someone's life. Just about. Um, and I'm saying from an emotional feeling standpoint, because you're transitioning yourself to be one with someone. And that's a feeling that you're standing there telling the person that you're going to be with them for the rest of your lives, of your living lives. Um, and once that feeling in that moment it's starting to trickle down and die down. You got to stay strong and steadfast in what you feel. So it's like when you are in, invoking on something new, um, as far as career, business, personal life, whatever, you know, it's a saying new level, new devil. Um, it's just new level, new obstacle. You're faced with things that you've never been faced with before. And it's uncomfortable for you. And that's what growing is. Growing is getting out of your comfort zone. So I hope that answered the question regarding if you think that because you're saved that your your life is scot free, um, nobody's problem free because nobody's perfect. Um, just stay steadfast in what you believe in and stay headstrong and live throughout the moment, even when that moment doesn't feel as good as it felt when you first invoked on it. Pay attention.